you may have experienced that Fusion 360's cloud storage can go offline. Luckily it happens infrequently, but if it does and you're not ready, it will cripple your workflow. Luckily there are solutions to keep you working in offline mode. I'll show you how to cache and archive your Fusion 360 files. Hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Justin. I'll be your Fusion 360 pilot today. Part of Fusion 360's big perks are that it's a cloud-based app. That means easy syncing of projects between your computers and with a team of people. Unfortunately, when that goes wrong, nobody is happy and you can lose access to your files that aren't downloaded or cached on your computer. While it's a bit hidden, there's a simple way to make sure you keep your project files stored on your computer. This is called caching and it's super easy to turn on. Open up Fusion 360 and open your data panel. Find a project you want to cache and open it up. Then look for the little gear up here and click cache this project. Pretty easy, huh? This could take up quite a bit of storage space on your computer. I think our main production project is many gigs of space. It's totally worth having it saved locally though for times like this. You can also right click any file or project and then select add to offline cache if you just want to be more selective about it. Personally, I like to cache the entire project so I know they're there when I need them. Other than cloud service outages, there's also situations like not having a reliable internet or being on an airplane where you can't really download files, so you want to have those things stored. There's another way you can keep files around for longer with caching. Open up Preferences, and then on the first screen, change the number of cache days. For some reason, I can set it to 360 as the max, but hey, I'll take it. At this time, after the number of days pass without activity, files and projects will clear your cache on your computer. I'm no fan of this, but it should keep fairly active files around longer for you to use. Another option, while less useful for active files, is an add-in called Project Archiver. It's a plugin that's free, made by the one and only Patrick Rainsbury. You may know him as Tapnair on GitHub. It's a bit more of a roll your own, but it does let you export all your files in formats like STEP, F3D, STL, and many others. Check the link to the blog post below, we'll include some further details there. As Patrick warns, this could take some time, so you may want to do this overnight and not expect to use Fusion for a while if you have a bunch of files in a project. While we're on the topic, I'd recommend getting a service like Backblaze. We use Backblaze to back up our computers. It's a service that runs in the background and constantly uploads files to the cloud. If you were wondering, this is not a sponsored ad, although hit me up Backblaze, let's talk. As far as I know, it won't grab Fusion files since those are stored in a place it won't back up. However, like caching, you should be backing up your important files offsite anyway, and I can highly recommend Backblaze. If you export your files with the Project Archiver, those can be picked up by Backblaze and stored safely on their cloud servers. It's only $5 a month per computer for unlimited backup space. I'll link that below too. That's all I have for today. If you found this helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more Fusion 360, CNC, and projects upcoming. If you want to support the channel, but don't want a Patreon-like subscription, Buy Me A Coffee is the perfect option. The idea of Buy Me A Coffee is to offer someone a cash equivalent of buying them a drink as a thank you. It's a one-time thing to show your support for the channel and keeps the content and coffee flowing. Look for the link below for Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to get our cat and cam models that we show in the videos, subscribe to our Patreon at cnc.money. Thanks. If you haven't subscribed, it's imperative you do. I know if you watched this far, you obviously enjoyed it a little.